People say, if I ask God to give me his will in marriage, supposing I, I marry somebody I don't like, it's not possible. God knows, knows likeness more than you. He knows it more. He created you. He knows your anatomy, your physiology, your biochemistry, your pharmacology, your pharmacognosy, your pharmaceutics. <laughs> The person that you want to give yourself will suffocate your life. God knows who can accommodate you. The way I am now, not everybody could have married me. It's not possible. Some will run away on the spot. All right, my counsel. One, endeavor to be completely surrendered to the will of God. In all issues pertaining to your life. All issues. Lord, it is not what I want, but what you want for me. To be surrendered to the will of God in all issues pertaining to your life. First John chapter, what do you call it? Romans chapter 12 verse 1 to 2. I beseech you therefore brethren, by the mercies of the living God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so you can prove what is the good the acceptable, the perfect will of God. When you are, when you are surrendered, there are many people struggle in life because they always want to have their way. Your life is easy, is smooth. People say, if I ask God to give me His will in marriage, supposing I, I marry somebody I don't like, it's not possible. God knows, knows likeness more than you. He knows it more. He created you. He knows your anatomy, your physiology, your biochemistry, your pharmacology, your pharmacognosy, your pharmaceutics. <laughs> he knows. He knows. He knows. Every, he knows everything about. He knows. He knows your emotionality and your psychology and your constitutionality. He knows everything. The person that you want to give yourself will suffocate your life. God knows who can accommodate you. The way I am now, not everybody could have married me. It's not possible. Some will run away on the spot. Are you eating? No. When will you eat? I don't know. Is that normal? By 7 o'clock, are you eating today? I'm not aware. When will you be aware? I will let you know. Just let the people know this. Don't, don't, don't tempt me with food. Don't bring food near and for now. You don't know when it started and you don't know when it will end. So God package somebody for you that can say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Supposing you give you somebody with pepper head or you give yourself somebody with pepper head. So what kind of problem is this? So I say, leave me alone. You're yeah, a doctor, I'm a doctor. You went to school, I went to school. That is not Wahala, it is Wahaloos. <laughs> not all that glitters is gold. Container never reflects contact. You can see perfect containers with terrible content. Am I communicating? Don't, just make your life easy for your for yourself. You don't you whatever you want for yourself may look beautiful, but never as colorful and wonderful as what God wants for you. Just permanently here am I, Lord. That's number one. Number two, endeavor to seek the will of God on particular issues of interest. Endeavor to seek the will of God on particular issues of interest to you. That is, issues that have become issues of prayer concern or prayer issues. In Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 16, it says, stand in the way. And ask for the old part, where is the good way? Some people are busy killing themselves. Father, give me that job. Give me that job. 
Give me the job. I must get the job. I must get the job. Lord, in fact, I will give you the first six months salary. God say you are praying a wasted prayer. I don't have plan for you to do that job. That job will connect you with people that will assist to decapitate your destiny. That job will end you in hell. Oh, I have something far better for you. You are looking for cake and a pep. I have an aircraft for you. And you are pleading and begging me to give you tricycle. And I have in mind to furnish you with a Gulf Stream G550. Or give you a, a Falcon aircraft or a Challenger or something. And you are begging me and saying if you if I don't give you pep, cake and a pep, you will backslide. I said, did you hear what those things I mentioned? I want you to give them the comparison between the tricycle and all the things I mentioned. Kekena Pep is a tricycle. You are breaking your head. Father, give me this tricycle. Give me this tricycle. Give me this tricycle. People are laughing at me. I need this tricycle. I need this Kekena Pep. They say I'm wasting my time going to church. I need this tricycle. God said, I have a challenger, Bombardier challenger, 605. I have a Gulf Stream, 550. I have a Falcon 8X. I have them in store for you. And it will be a matter of any one of them you want. <laughs> you are looking for cake and a pep. <laughs> it's good to see things like this so you can expand your mind. If you don't give me cake and a pep, ram head cannot enter this pot. <laughs> you, cannot, you don't give me this cake and a pep, ram head cannot cross the neck of this pot. And God is saying, God is saying, God is saying. I have something better. That's, that's the way some people pray. Father, I want to marry this man. He's a handsome man. And he has money. Give him to me. When all that younger men, all the people just come, you just wave them with you. Say, I'm talking of person you are coming, say you want to marry. I'm talking of person you are coming, say you want to marry. I'm talking of person. <laughs> and God said, the one you are calling person will use you to make money. Money rich, money ritual. He's an occultic man. He will use you to make money. So after you have insisted and prayed on a particular thing for a long time, and it appears as if there is no answer, go before God. Am I praying in accordance with your will? Is there something else you are saying? Am I communicating? Lord, am I praying your will or am I praying against your will? No matter how hard you try, you can never force God to give you what is not his will. And if you force him, you regret it. When Israel insisted on king, 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 and God said, I am your king. He said, give us king. Let us be like other nations. He said, okay, take Saul. Even though Saul had very, very good things in his life, but the perfect will of God was that the kingly tribe is the tribe of Judah. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. And the person that was to be the king from the tribe of Judah was not yet matured. Israel wasn't ready yet. The king has not been prepared yet. His name was David. He's still on the way coming. Just hold on a little bit. Just a little bit. I will give you king from the, from the tribe of kings. 